Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back again. We're going to be playing the Plucky Squire today. I'm going to check that bad boy out. Uh, I have not played it a lick yet, but we're about to try it out for the first time on Xbox. And again, shout out to Xbox for hooking me up with the code. $29.99. $29.99. Storybook characters discover a three-dimensional world outside the pages of their book and must jump between three, uh, sorry, 2D and 3D realms to save their friends in this charming action adventure. Is it cool? We're about to see. We are about to see if it's cool. All right, here it is, the Plucky Squire. Let's get into it. Sam's room. We'll just say it's Ray's room. This is Ray's room. This looks a little Toy Story-ish, doesn't it? Even though I don't, I don't even know. I I think I've watched Toy Once Story. Upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot. Can we call Jot him Ray? Jot lived in the land of Mojo. A land Mojo. of creativity. Okay. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. Oh, dominated. <laughs> he defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrub. Humgrub. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad. Well done. Racky. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. This is cool These so far. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning. And kind of, he's got that Where's bed. Waldo fit on. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter One. All right, we're some gonna, serious bees. We're going to investigate the music, yeah? Let's investigate the music. <gasps> Am I going to be able to play around in this book? All right, we're plucky. And can I get the notes? So we're in the storybook. That is pretty rad. Oh, dude. Who's Gandalf jamming? This oh, it is Gandalf. The good wizard, Moonbeard, Jod's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad. He explained. I'm on a roll here. Traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. Wax I on. Need more wax, lad. I need to get my DJ hero. Records, you know. Some of y'all probably don't know what the hell that is, do you? DJ hero. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? It's probably been a decade ago. Pip here will accompany you. Whoa! Okay, baby. Jesus. What? Why you scare me like this? I mean, you come, but I can't. But I can't see you. You come out of nowhere and you touch me. Ah, we gotta gotta figure this one out. You gotta figure this one out. If you're gonna scare me, just go up behind the chair and scare me real good. Damn. Yeah, it's, a, it's not even a spooky game, dude. It's not even a spooky game, but I get frightened. I can't hear any. It's the headphones. When I put the headphones on, it makes it ten times worse. I can't hear anything. When I hear it, had the earbuds on, I could catch her. I have the headphones on, I can't hear nothing. Okay, so X is attack. Is there anything in the light bulb? That means uh, we got. It's a hint, right? It's, we're gonna collect hints. Let me collect the hints from the bushes. Who would have thought? I got a little friend here. He's a little rat. His name is... Oh, God. They just said it. I forgot his name. We got to roll. We can roll with the B button. 
Oh, dude. Okay, this is really... This is very deep. Very... Okay, come on. Jot, that's not the way to Honey Peak. Okay, so we're going up. To the tower. Are we going up then, maybe? Okay, we're going up the book. Storybook. She's getting ready for Halloween. <sighs> when I got these headphones on, I can't hear nothing, and you just touch me like that? What do you think is going to happen? I'll talk to you, and you'll get you'll be scared. Hi, by the way. Hello, Cindy. She wants to come in the stream. It's not the Christmas stream yet. Get out. You're not getting paid. Honey Peak. The land of mojo. The land of mojo. I can't hear a thing you're saying in there. Don't ruin my stream, Cindy. Don't 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 ruin my stream here. See this? See this YouTube now, this wife trying to sabotage precarious. this uh, marvelous, <laughs> this, this, this marvelous content here. This looks like uh, let's say we're just doing Mario, right? This is we're doing Mario. Mario was definitely one of the first games I ever beat. Probably the first game I did beat. Since I'm a boomer. Okay, so we got a little platforming. We got a little, uh... It's almost like the ground has boo-boos. You see the little band-aids, little X's? The ground has boo-boos. See, here's a boo-boo. The little mouse's name is Pip, that's right. Now that right there is a massive owl. That is a massive owl. That's a tome tower, that is. See how the ground has boo-boos? And we got the honey badger. Whoa, that's a honey badger. Eating Benny B's honey. Be on your toes, Jot. A hungry, a hungry honey badger can be really cranky. He looks like he has boxing gloves on, but it's honey. Honey fists. He's he's not very happy. Oh heck, here we go. So the honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Oh prepared for a Jot. Jot just shot his shot his shot his ass with some roids. Oh, we're doing Mike Tyson's punch out? We're doing punch out! been a while since I played punch out but I, I've, de I've definitely beat Mike in Mike Tyson's punch out beat him twice oh, I went the wrong way I remember beating him uh, he I beat him by decision and that wasn't good enough so I had to go back and beat him by TKO So they were boxing gloves. The beast was festive. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. So far good. Ah, back in the hive. Feels good. Yo, many thanks, Jot. They've got the bee saying yo. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really messing with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Moonbeard sent us Benny. He could really do with some of that beeswax if you have some to spare. For sure, Pip, my man, I owe you guys. Here you go. That's a straight up honeycomb, ain't it? Compliments to the whiz. Compliments to the DJ. <laughs> mm. We got an evil, evil wizard in the owl tower, maybe. Evil whiz in the wa- uh, the Yeah. 
down they fell. Uh oh, Pip. Aren't you gonna like grab? Nope. I thought I was gonna help Pip from falling to the ground. I guess not. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Yep, it's Humdrump, all right. Always up to treacherous trickery. Trickery, that one. Here's something rather odd about the magic he used, and this is not usually how the story goes, you know? That is to say, erm, um, forget about that. This is a job for the plucky squire, Jod. Humdrump is at Tome Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause it. Any more bother? Hello. Okay, we got a girlfriend here. Little witch hat girl. It was Violet. Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Hey, Jot, we've got another humdrump situation, huh? Moonbeard gave me the shiny. Or the skinny? Was that the skinny? I think it was skinny. I read that. <laughs> that Weasley wizard is at the Tome Tower. You kids head over there. And Jot, put a stop to humdrump's malarkey. I'll look into the strange green magic. And have a donut. But that's by the by. Later. Goodbye, good luck. Although, you never really need a jot. Oh, Pip's leaving? I wanted Pip to stay. I think I'll take Pip over Violet. I really I really think so. No lie, I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see the plucky squire in action. Kapow. Lead the way, Jot. Let's lead the way. Let's go, Violet. So we don't have okay, can I cut down I can cut down trees. We can find more hints. All these hints make me think we're going to have some puzzle action in this video game, right? Probably so. We're going to the tower. This time we're going to the tower. Cool. Oh, we got some rat in the way. Rat with a hat. I feel kind of bad. He's, he looks really cute. I don't know. We got some type of map or something. What do we grab? It's a map. You got a new piece of artwork. Okay. Concept. Area Mountains. That's really cool. Yeah, that looks really awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm playing this. This looks really good. I'm vibing. I'm vibing with it so far. More bushes here. Yeah, game game's great. Game's really fun so far. What the? Oh no, we're playing Jep or not Jeopardy? Uh, Wheel of Fortune. The blank swung, the gate swung open. Oh, here's gate. So, G so the gate. Nope. Put it here. I don't know how to put it. How do we put it where we need to put it? Close enough. Let's go find the swung. Probably open. I'm, I'm guessing it's open. Yes, I'll take a... I'll buy an E. I was right. I didn't even uh, have to get the letters. I already... I'm a Jeopardy expert. The gate swung open, but I don't know... Maybe I just drop it right on it? There we go. The gate swung open. Perfection. Nice, you always have a way with words, Jot. Hmm. Is this probably the save point? Let me, Mr. Clock, is that how we save it? Greetings, brave warriors. Martina. Nice to meet you. Your adventures, uh, you adventurers cut down fearsome enemies. And I slash prices. <laughs> Let me show you what I have for sale. Okay. This is the items shop. 
Uh, sword throw badge. Throw your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from a distance. That's great. And we got more art scrolls. Uh, that's what you spend light bulbs with. I thought you were gonna do light bulbs. I thought light bulbs were gonna be like uh, hints for puzzles or something, but apparently that's that's your money and that's your currency. Sword throw badge. I'll grab that one. Yeah. Let me back up here. Yep. Uh, press right trigger to throw the sword and again to retrieve it. It was lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check in again. Next time we meet, I'll have new stock. Keep saving the land from bad business. Business. My business will save you from <laughs> bad deals. So long, brave warriors. Okay, so it looks like the currency is basically you just start even hitting the trees, you get the currency, yeah? Oh wait, I don't sound. Wait, where's my sword? Gotta get that money. Gotta go get that cheddar, you know. Dead bird. Oh, who's this little guy? Little collectible? Little orange guy? It is a glitch bird. Cute little glitch bird. Maybe that's uh, collectibles. It will return to its homeland. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe probably collectibles in the game. Got the little glitch bird. Well, there it is. That mysterious ancient owl. All the knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know? Whoa. Not sure if the ground should be doing this. It's like an earthquake. You might want to... I don't know what you do during earthquakes. What do you do? Oh, bother. I only really know about tornadoes. Just get in the... Uh, Chapter 2. Tome Tower. Get in the bathtub? I don't know. <laughs> get away from windows. Get in the Our basement. Heroes hug on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails. When suddenly, they were grabbed and hoisted up. By who? By Thrash. Thrash. Thrash was a mountain troll. Okay, he don't don't look like a mountain troll. The trio had not been together for quite a while, and so were very happy to be reunited. Reunited, and it feels so good with the old mountain troll thrash. Ooh boy, you really saved our skins. Are we happy to see you? Triple trouble together again. Triple trouble. Mojang. Mojang. I'm just stoked I could find you dudes. After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both heading to Tome Tower. I figured I'd help you on your way. The path is wrecked, huh? Well, there's more than one route to Tome Tower. Let's get down to the ground. Let's get down. Oh, we, we jumping. We jumping off? Okay, I guess. We Hopefully, my knees can withstand this fall. Huh? This is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's Thrash. Let's do this. Let me read the sign. Okay. To your death. <laughs> Jump to your death. Okay, so I don't have my party with me. It's just me.
Yeah, Thrash, we made it. And here was Thrash, waiting on the ground. As cool as a cucumber. Nice climbing, dude. Oh, that's pretty cool. I had flipped around. You both got down that cliffside with banging style. You had good rhythm going on there, dudes. You think? You know, I did feel rather uh, graceful. Sort of like hopping mountain rabbit. Like a hopping mountain rabbit, sorry. Well, now, <laughs> and now we're down on the ground. Best get on to Tome Tower. Lead the way, Plucky Squire. Lead the way, Plucky. I shall lead the way. We gotta watch out for falling rocks. Now in the little storybook. That's really cool, too. Look at those bouncing boulders. They're just vanishing into thin air. Majorly weird. So I wonder if my party just follows me or they actually will, like, attack. Cool, cool. Uh oh, we got some new enemies here. We got the the bull. A bull. It looks angry. I'm just playing the Chicago Bulls intro music in my head now. You guys, you know what it is. A good job. None of us is wearing red. Pew, pew, whatever. Jot's wearing red. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of red. More of a crimson than a scarlet. I don't think bulls are that picky. Is that is that really a thing? Do bulls really are bulls really attracted to red? I went to a bullfight once. It was terrible. When I was in Mexico, uh, we watched a bullfight. It was it was not. I hated it. The poor bull. The poor bull, man. Yeah. It got tortured. It was a torture. It was animal cruelty. Terrible. Would never go to one again. It's crazy. Got some more artwork. Oh, hey, there's my there's my boy, Moonbeard. Hanging out, looking cool. What's up? I think that's Moonbeard. I mean, that's looks like Moonbeard to me. Hold up, is that Moonbeard? He looks more, much more petite than usual. Oh, that's not Moonbeard Thrash. That's Mini Beard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually, you'll find him at <laughs> Moonbeard's house helping him out. I thought I was gonna say in Moonbeard's nose. Today, it looks like he's out and about. Hey, Mini Beard, what's cooking? Yo, <laughs> you'll need a key if you want to be journeying onward. If you walk to the right here, you just might find one. Free advice from old Mini Beard. Thanks, Mini Beard. You know, if you're stuck on something and Mini Beard is around, always pays to ask him. He's full of answers. All right, okay, so. Let's go get this key because I would have noticed that if it wasn't for Mini Beard. <laughs> I would I would have not noticed that big massive key in the middle. No chance. Ole? Is that what you say? Ole? Ole? No, I don't know. I, I didn't play enough of that video, horrible video game called Toro. If you know, you know. If you don't know, well, lucky you. I'm out of here. Oh wait, how do we get out of here? You must, I must gotta kill the bulls, huh? Now the gate will open. Right now we can just take out the key. Yo, Mac. What's up, Mac? Return of the Mac. Alright, 
We got the key. Let's get up out of here. You got the key. You're right, Mini Beard. I knew you'd do it. Thanks, Mini Beard. Dude. Dialogue's kind of interesting in this. It's got a lot of yo's and dudes and stuff. I'm, I'm digging it. It said a 2D and 3D, so... I'm just waiting for the 3D, yeah? Ah, greetings, travelers. This is old Topsy the Big... Big Thick Cat. That's a... That's a thick boy right there. Ooh. Ah, greetings, travelers. Three? My name is Topsy. Hey, Topsy. I see you're on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you, but there's something you could perhaps assist me with first, namely my tummy, because I've eaten way too much cat food and whatever leftovers you had in the garbage can. It is empty. I left my biscuits around here somewhere, you see? And the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat, which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. Oh man, nothing. Nothing worse than lost biscuits, although it's a cat eating biscuits. I I don't I don't do cat cat eats but cats eat biscuits? I figured that's a dog biscuits. I've never heard of cat biscuits. A cat shouldn't be parted from their biscuits. Crazy. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There's a word in that sentence just there. That might be the key to all these landscape shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. So we, so forest. So here's a secluded, so we get, we get that out of here. Okay, and then we put another word in there and then it changes it to the ruin, maybe. I don't know, it looks like we're changing the world by changing the words in the sentence. I don't know. It's what it's looking like to me. So we're gonna let me let me let me uh let me look around here first before I change it to the ruin, which I think is gonna happen. Let's check out the forest first. Let's see what old mini beard has to say. The forest be dense, difficult to push things through it, but the path might be easier going all around. Go all round. If the forest wasn't a forest. <laughs> Weird thought. Alright. Uh, just, just tell me to change the ruin, okay? We got some biscuits. Although, like uh, old mini birds are saying, I can't. Too much forest. I can't push the biscuits. This is a lot of biscuits, by the way. Is that what you guys call them in different countries? You guys call them cat biscuits? I'll just call it cat food. It's biscuits. Alright, we're changing this here. So it's gonna change it to a room. Okay. So. We gotta figure out how to slide the biscuits across here. Yeah. It's not looking like I can slide the biscuits through though. There's no, there's no clear path for the biscuits still. Maybe if I push it up, it'll be across the bridge and then I can change it back to the forest and then change it back to the, you probably change it multiple. It looks like it's gonna go up here, right? It's, it shows like a little outline for biscuits here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna guess we put it there. And then we can go switcheroo back to the forest. And then change cat treat. Well, cat treats would be uh, like a snack, not not their main food. That'd be like a little, you know, just a little snack. Dog biscuits or dog bones, milk bones. That's what I would I would call a a biscuit. Back to the ruin. 
Hey, we we got the fat cat some biscuits. All right. I hope you're happy, cat. You're already you're already thick. About to be thicker. My biscuits. How have I dreamed of this moment, travelers? Oh wait, that that doesn't go together. Let me do that again. My biscuits. How I've dreamed of this moment, travelers. You have my sincerest thanks. The, spro the prospect of this snack brings a smile to my face. What? I don't know what just happened. The cat. This land is full of puzzles and trickery. Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. When you get stuck, try to see things from a different angle. Good luck, the biscuit saviors. He's, he's got a little top hat on now. And he gave me a key. Thanks, Topsy. Okay. We're gonna do something. We're gonna go up top because there's a border on this game and if I put my camera up there, we take up less of the screen, so that seems like a better idea. Hopefully. We meet again, Martina. Care to look at my current selection? Okay, uh, sword damage upgrade. We got we can only get sword damage upgrade. So I'm just gonna go with that. We can get the art scrolls, but I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing I would rather I would probably rather have upgrades than than the art of the video game at this very moment. So we'll do that. Jot upgrade is sword damage. Great. I can't afford anything else, so I guess we keep grinding for that money. You know, we keep grinding for that cheddar. Keep on going up. Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon, loomed Tome Tower. It's Tome Tower. Spooky Tome Tower. Now, if my wife jumped in here, I might be scared because it's kind of creepy. It's kind of dark. Whoa, it got dark around here pretty fast. There's some magic afoot. Everything feels kind of fizzy. I don't know what that means, fizzy. The only time I feel fizzy is, you ever get soap in your butt? You get out of the shower and there's still some soap in your, you know, like, in your butt. And then it, it's kind of fizzy. No, not you, okay, just me. There was a strange electricity in the air. It is a big old beetle. Beetle boy. Beetle boy. That just means you guys don't wash your ass with soap. Okay, I got gotcha. you. You're not. You don't have a clean butt. That's on you. That's not on me. Look at all the the boo boos. So many boo boos everywhere. Band aids everywhere. Whoa, booming bolts, very metal. We got Thrash. Thrash is metal. He's a metal. Uh, what was he, was he an ogre? No, I can't remember what he said he was. What is that thing? It's spawning monsters. Oh, it's a man. That kind of looked like a UFO. Light bulb currency is still kind of weird. I don't really know why the the currency's light bulbs. Maybe in time we'll find like And it's kind of weird the party members are here and they don't do anything. I don't know if I can even switch to them or they just follow. I'm trying to like switch or anything, but I don't think it it hasn't mentioned anything about switching characters, so I don't know. Maybe maybe you can eventually, maybe you can later. Who knows? 
Yo, Prodigy, what's up, dude? Those are some big, 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 big old goops. Big old goopy boys. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Little uh, bookworm. Hello, young adventurers. Are you on your way to uh, the Tome Tower? Yep, that's where we're headed. Best beware. A dark wizard occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this lovely bridge. Unmitigate. Un unmitigatedly obliterated. Oh, yeah. It's wrecked. Hmm. There's another way across the waters. Oh, okay. We go we go down in the dungeon. No, I don't don't go down yet. It's cave entrance. Promising, promising. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I gotta explore first. I gotta explore. And try to find all the lovely light bulbs. presentation of this game is phenomenal man real gloomy dig the acu acoustics though lead on job my dude your plucky glow will light the way the plucky glow okay we're in a cave yeah so it's probably some bats Oh, okay, okay. Little hidden entrance. We got a lever, 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 lever. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. It's the lever lever. What's this dude shooting? He kind of looks like the little glove. Uh, the What's the glove? What is that? What is the glove sell? You know the little hand? The white hand? What does he sell? What does he sell? Hamburger helper. <laughs> hamburger. Yeah, hamburger. They look like hamburger helper. The hamburger helper guy. Whatever the hell it is, it's a hand. God, hamburger helper. What a That's such such an 80s 90s things hamburger helper I don't it was it just I think it was just seasoning you put on, put on hamburger or you mixed hamburger with some I don't even remember what it was I think you just mixed hamburger with some carbs probably what it was uh, Jot explored the impassable cave yes he did I feel like I can go down right can we nope Nope, you die, you die, you die, okay. I was just checking, I was checking. I was just checking on it. Woody, look at that. We crossed the river. On we go. Are we still doing spooky? I don't know if we're still doing spooky voice. If I have a spooky voice. A spooky tone, I think, is what I was trying to do. But, you know, I'm not a voice actor or anything. I'm just, uh, just a... Just a guy. Just a... Just a random dude on the mic Trying to be spooky voiced We meet again Care to take a look at my current selection you probably I probably can't afford anything We can do a sword throw upgrade, which I'm not gonna do cuz I don't even like using it. I don't like using the sword throw so You don't get my money today No money for you Not today not today, sir. Not today. Or ma'am, whatever you are. I think it's... Who cares? Whoa, there. All these books. Real eerie. 
pretty cool visual, though. Oh, I bet. How much you want to bet one of these? A thousand dollars. They come to life, right? Some of these books are gonna. Some of these books are gonna have teeth, and they're gonna try to eat me. No doubt. No doubt about it. Presentation is Chef Kiss, aka Hamburger Helper. Whoa! Hold up there. It does look like a UFO, doesn't it? And now we got stacks of books, big blocks of books. We got another key. Uh oh, we're gonna be fighting something. Big blobs. All right, plucky. Now give me my key. Give me my key, son. These books have been purposely, pur purposefully, purposefully stacked. We got a mini beard over here, chilling, chilling. Stacked books are a real roadblock. But if the books were scattered, you'd have a way through. So you want me to be messy? You want me to th throw books everywhere? Pages were scattered on the ground. All right, we gotta figure out how to get them unstacked, right? How do we do that? What do we use for that? There's, you haven't told me any buttons to use to, to knock down books. Maybe jump on the books? There's a scroll back here. Okay, a little maze. We got more artwork, which yeah, whatever. More artwork, cool. Ooh. Okay, so how do we get the books down? How do we, how do we knock the books? Do I talk to my peeps here? Do we go back out? Do we? Uh... Is there a way? Oh, we gotta pick up scattered. Okay, so sc okay. Scattered. Oh, we, yeah, that's right. We hit them. Okay, we hit we hit them. Big pages were Was it pages were scattered? No, no. Was scattered was already over there. So we want to put scattered over here. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, what is this? There's a hole here, but I don't know. It says don't don't go down. Let's let's see if we can stack them up over here and see what happens. So we're gonna stack the pages over here. And then we grab this. Okay, and then you push it to the hole. That's pretty cool. This has already got pretty pretty cool puzzles. Pretty unique puzzles. Let's go on up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Very cool. That wretched fool Jot, he will get what he deserves. The time is near. That's what it says in the background. Okay, this is Violet. Okay, that's a bit creepy. Okay, the books haven't come to life. Like I thought they would, but Maybe the maybe the boss is one big book. So now we're making our way up to the tome tower. And uh, there's a wizard out to greet us. So this is where it all kicks off. A historical location and no mistake. Huh?
Okay, I'm trying to flee. Well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyway, here we are. Tom Tower. It looks like Hump Grump is still up there on the roof. It's time for the plucky squire to go in and take care of that creep. Well, stay down here, dude. We'll stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. This is one of those dramatic, heroic kind of moments, you know. During your big showdown, you don't want us two dorks mooching around in the background. Nope. We'll mooch down here instead. But we'll be cheering you on all the way. Mooching and cheering. That's more of our style. Go get that chump. Oh, that chump is mine, son. Let's go get that chump. I wonder if we're gonna box him. <laughs> It'd be fun if we boxed him again. Go into uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out style gameplay again. That'd be pretty cool. Jot made his way up the steep steps. Doop. A lot of steps. A lot of steps. Hum grump. Ah, the plucky, plucky squire. I've been waiting for you. He said my name twice. He knows who I am. He knows who I am, everybody. I've been waiting for you. So glad to see you made it to Tome Tower. You might be wondering what Hump, Hump Grump is doing here. Well, I had a hunch. Gr oh my god. Well, I'm, I have to read the sentence. Well, I had a hunch, Grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. Man, what a pun. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book. Oh, wow. Okay, you found a book. It was hidden away in a very secret chamber because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire. Yes, that's right. This book is all about you and me and all who live in this dreaded land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that our land of Mojo is just a setting in the storybook. Hard to believe, I assure you. It's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook. A book within the book, if you will. I read the book. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that witch girl adventuring through the land. Meeting up with the mountain troll, making your way here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof. Any guesses how that turns out? You die! And so, the Plucky Squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Humgrum. You win. As you always do. You know, this book is the one, is one of a series. And in each one of these books, you win. Every single stinking time. Because you are the Plucky Squire, the hero of the story, the boy who can do no wrong. Always victorious. Even the little stories you write, beloved by all, infuriating like a, like a mosquito in my cardigan. Yes, that is an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain, the talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. At least this is how it has been up until now, but Maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe even Humgrump could get a little glory for once. If the plucky squire were to be plucked from the book. Ooh, things are getting interesting, chat. We're about to leave the... We're about to get kicked out of our own story. If we were to be... If he were to be ejected...
Nice. Force pushing me out. What? There's the Hulk hands I was talking about earlier. Oh, so now we're in the 3D. We got pushed out of the book. And he closed the book on us. The book is closed. The book is behind us. We're back in uh, the room here. And the book is closed. Wow, this is cool. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. We're on the table here. Now it's 3D, not 2D anymore. Nice. There's the book. How do we get back in the book? I guess that's... We gotta figure out how to get back in this book. Okay, so there's a little sign here. So we gotta make our way back into the book somehow. Wow, this is really neat. This is a great, great idea for a video game. Oh, hello. Is there someone out there? Would you be so kind as to open the lid of the lun this lunchbox? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's open the lunchbox. All right, man. Hey, they got their fruits and veggies in here. We got some carrots, some grapes. We got the bookworm back. Do you remember me, Jot? We met in your book. I do remember you, bookworm. Glad to see you again. Glad to see you're doing okay. I'm not actually from there. You know, us bookworms travel around a fair bit from book to book. But you, Jot, are a character from a book and shouldn't really be out here. It's Humgrump's magic that blasted you out of the page and onto this desk, isn't it? We'll have to get you back into your book, Jot. It is of utmost paramount. Paramounts. In other words, very important. You know, there are some intriguing items on this desk. Some of them might help you return. Head around the corner to the left, and we'll try to find one. Cool. Thank you. Uh, what am I going to eat this carrot? I used to eat so many carrots. <laughs> I used to be such a carrot eater. This is some good-looking grapes, though. Good-looking carrots. Hey, look. It's, uh, oh god, don't do it. This is a kid's game, isn't it? I'm not making a dick. Oh, I'm not trying to make a, well, shit, never mind. Well, there again. Do you see that magical swirly green thing? That's a meta magic portal. That is. It seems to allow travel between different worlds. Most characters could not travel through these portals or pass between between realms. But Jot, you already made that leap once. Maybe you could do it again. Try jumping through the portal, young squire. All right, here goes nothing. We gonna make that uh Yeah. It's a, you know. It's a carrot and carrot and grapes, okay? Guess we're going through the portal. There's nothing else to really do, so we'll just hop hop back in the portal. Go on through. See what happens. Okay, so we're remarkable. We're on the page. Some of that meta magic must have rubbed off on you, Jot. Like me, it seems you now have the power to leap between worlds. Very cool. Now this world here is a sketch that has that was drawn by the occupant of this room and the owner of your storybook jot a young boy named sam he's a very creative child you'll find his sketches all over this desk since you can jump into them maybe you can use them to get around very cool so we're gonna get around let's try and find the item that'll get you home so we're trying to jump through sketches talk to the bunford low energy too hungry to move too hungry to converse please give me a snack everybody in this world wants a snack so i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring him a carrot poor bunford over there he looks famished there's no nourishment to be found in this sketch
but maybe there's something out there on the desk. You know, maybe you can bring items between worlds. It's worth a shot. I'm bringing him a carrot. Because bunny rabbits, as y'all know, they want that carrot. Let's see if we can now bring it through. So I got a carrot now. Exceptional. You really can bring items between realms. This may be handy. Yo, that's real cool. Here you go, bunny. Everybody in this world's hungry. There's your carrot. I got you a snack. Come on, it's right here. Okay, he's not taking the snack. Hold on. Oh, he took it. There he goes. Delicious. Carrot boost. Energy levels restored. Oh, am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me scooch. Yeah, get on. Get on out of here. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm like going. Okay, weird. I'm. Looks like I'm going through a s sketch. And then we're going back to the 3D. So we're jumping between 2D and 3D right now. Really cool. And there's another portal there. I'm just gonna. Explore a little bit. I want to see what's what's going on. We can we can push off a block from the top there. Well, this is a little dark. Might be a little dark. I don't know. Somehow we gotta get up there and push that block off. See if I can. I gotta push that block off to to uh, get up in the portal, right? So I gotta push the block down and then so probably over here. Yes, sir, you can climb up, you can clamber up a little bit. We push the big old block down, then push it over the wall. And then we'll get up. Get right on up there. Okay. So. Through the portal. To another portal? Oh, yeah, we're going back out, okay. So it looks like that's going to be a thing. It's going to transition a lot. And it's bookworm. Good going, young squire. I believe that the item that can help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen. On your way, you may run into a creepy crawly... Uh... Col... Colapetra? Colapetter. Whatever. Beetles. Sam likes to keep them as pets, you see. Beware, Jot. Don't get eaten. It simply wouldn't do. Clearly, Sam likes to paint a lot. Likes the Legos. That's a nasty looking beetle. We got some stealth sections. Oh. Oh. Well, I should... Oops. Death. Num death number one. There you go. One death. Death counter one. Okay, so turn around, big bug, and I'm going to go... Right here. You saw nothing, bug. No, no, no. I, got, I was good. I was good. I thought I did pretty good. Okay, we must be a little sneakier. Sneakier, sneakier. Is these dominoes or they look like dominoes? I've never set up dominoes like this ever. I know people set up dominoes to knock them down. Never did that, but I played the game dominoes. Press Y while running to throw. So I guess I'm gonna knock the dominoes down like this. Yep, momentum. Okay, cool. I'm just bringing the die with me, just to get, you know, I don't know. Do I need it? Maybe not. I probably do. Wait. 
Yeah, yeah, I did need it, I believe. Jump on top of it. Oh, you probably need it over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can't fall. Oh, Jesus. Oh. See, I, using my blue controller, I probably should use a different controller. This, this stick is a little, a little too wiggly. I was trying to color coordinate a little too much, though. Do this, you can do this. Just be cautious. More sneaky, more sneaky sneak. This is very, very cool. Very unique video game. And guess what? I'm giving away code here. Not on YouTube. This is on the Twitch side, but... It's pinned if you want a chance to win it. It'll tell you right there. My fears have been... It seems that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note... While you are here, there is something that you really must observe. These sketches of you, quite a remarkable likeness, I must attest. The person who drew all this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in this room and is the owner of your storybook. As you might be able to tell, he is very fond of you and your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this jot, to see how much you mean to him. But there is no time to dwell on that. Your quest to re-enter the book is near its pinnacle. The item you need is just beyond the sketchbook. Press on. Thank you, Mr. Worm. I don't I don't know what I'd do without you, Mr. Worm. I'd be out I'd be I'd be lost. I wouldn't know what to do. Okay, so we got more beetles, we got more dominoes. Let me knock these. Well, gotta figure out a way to knock these dominoes down. Okay. Oh, there's the die right there. Gotta get that die back to the top somehow. Ah, uh, big, big old stealth section here. All right, Mr. Beetle. I'm going to go to that red paint. Yes. Red paint. Go to red paint. He didn't see me. No, okay, let's go this way. Go to the blue paint. Go to the blue paint. Yes, yes. All right, so... I don't really know where i got to go from here, so I'm going to go behind this purple paint. Oh, I, I, I let off the right trigger. Dang it! Just, to, just for all of a second. Okay, that's a that's a good uh, checkpoint. Very favorable checkpoint there. I can live with that. Okay, so we can go through there, but I don't. I need. I need the dice or the die right there, don't I? I don't really know how to. I might have to go back to get it. Oh, no, no, no. You go up the wall. Duh. Right there. You go up the wall to get it. I was thinking maybe I needed to throw it down and then go up to the wall and take it up that way, but nah. I got it. Ooh! I was gonna... Ah, oh, man. He was quick. I wonder if I can run from him. Let's see if we can even... I think it makes you stop in your tracks once he once he detects you. I don't think you can even move. All right. 
now we can go into 2D around the side, get the die, take the die up, knock down the dominoes, get in, get in. Oh yeah, you're gonna make a, a Tiny Kin reference? Oh dude, Tiny Kin. I love that game too. That's a great indie. That's a very fun indie. I really enjoy Tiny Kin. And okay, yeah, I guess I got me up top. Okay, let's fix and say, where did that even get? Give me. I got a glove. I got the power glove, chat. Oh, uh, turn gauntlets. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. Press left trigger, right trigger. Sorry, left trigger, right trigger. What next to the book to open it up? Nice. I can open the book now and get back in. I guess I need the gloves. I need the power gloves, man. You got the gauntlets. Exceptional. Head back to your book. Post haste. I think you'll find the. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave. This table, Jot. It is very important. What is it, Bookworm? Beware of Humgrump. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop him. Stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is one of those children, John. You know, us bookworms. We were able to glimpse to the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and illustrator himself. Good stuff. He will create a series of very popular children's books with very lucrative merchandise tie-ins and brand integrations. Sam's book will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he ever actually writes them. So we gotta inspire Sam to write this. If Humgrump takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all of their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book would no longer inspire Sam. And well then, who knows what uh, who knows what the what path he will take. Sam will become Well you know. Who knows what Sam will become? Do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Humgrump. Bah Humgrump. Now we get back in the books. That's cool. What what a cool game. What a cool game, everybody. Very unique. Hopefully it Hopefully it just gets better. Hopefully they add just keep adding some stuff to it where it's like, oh, this is this is even better. It keeps getting better. How do we open the book though? Oh. I gotta push the right trigger and left trigger so I go here. There we go, manipulate it. I wanna see how this opens up. He's got the power gloves. Bam. We can open. And now we're going back in. Nice. Well, it's really cool. That's a really cool transitions. Yo, it's the homie Mo uh, Moonbeard. Jot, my lad. Welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. Chapter three, Moonbeard. Moonbeard, that dude, man. DJ Moonbeard. He gets it in, son. I seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Moonbeard. Better put my best foot forward then. This is all about the Moonbeard. Maybe we control Moonbeard. That'd be nice. Greetings, lad. Hey, Jot. Glad you're back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answer to the first question is yes. I'm aware of how cool these sunglasses look. They're pretty rad. 
The answer to the second question is, yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas, huh? I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow, that greasy nincompoop humgrump found out. Very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Who, who knows what mischief he's planning. I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. Big Trouble and Pucky Squire. But that that just means, young Squire, that we must be double the trouble. We must be double the trouble. Follow me. We're going to be double trouble. We're going we're gonna to play some volleyball? First order of business. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. First order of business. It'd be funny if we went to a 3D version of Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball right now. <laughs> Old uh, Moonbeards in the Speedo. You know what I'm saying? First order of business. Getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkly stuff over there? Yeah, I see it now. Yeah, I'm getting... You're hypnotizing me. The meta magic. That's it. It lets you break the fourth wall. Which is another way of saying jump out of the book. Walk in the portal and try holding... My... I've heard... Yeah, I kind of know this Moonbeard. You're kind of behind the eight ball here. Not entirely sure. But you should press and hold it. Yeah, I got I, Moonbeard. What do you think I've been doing? I'm out though. I'm out the book. Thank you, thank you, Moonbeard. What I do without you? Testing, testing. Jot, I'm talking to you via Rune Tooth headset. Oh God, Rune Tooth. You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants. We must keep hydrated. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. All right, I'm gonna get in this book and I'm gonna get you a uh, whatever. Do you want a root beer? What do you want? What do what do wizards drink? Oh, Starry? Is that some? He eats moon pies and drinks Starry. I don't I, I don't even know what Starry is. I just know I've seen the commercials. I've never had it. Trying to think what else they would drink. What would a uh, wizard? Seems like you can use left stick to turn the pages. Best get to it then. All right. I'm trying. It's not turning nothing. <laughs> it's, the pages aren't turning, dude. Oh, there they go. So we got to find something to drink. You see that glow around the edges of the paper? I, yeah. That's the book telling you there's something useful on its pages. Try jumping in and see. Try jumping in and seeing what you can find. Okay, so there's, oh, is it a carrot? Okay, so we can make him some carrot juice. I'll make him some carrot juice. Gonna make him some trousers. Oh, got the little cute collectible dude. Glitch beard. He kind of looks like an orange. Maybe we could make some orange juice. Give him to, to moon beard. There's also a uh, yeah. some artwork. There's also a little frog. Artwork, little frog. I don't think there's anything to drink, though. We could uh, frog some frog urine, maybe. All right, I want to come back out now. I don't. How do we get back out? Oh, we're gonna go inside the house. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, he's just got a. We're just giving him a soda. We're just hitting him up with a fizzy pop. That'll do very nicely. We'll just call it. He's drinking a starry fountain drink. <laughs> Starry. Alright, so let's go back to... For some reason, it's not wanting to turn the pages very well, but here we go. Okay, we're back. Give him this drink. DJ Moonbeard. It's pop time. Oh yeah, big gulp. Got him the big gulp. Ah, that's the ticket. Thanks, lad. 
Those turning gongs can be very handy, don't you think? I was the one that put them on the desk. Thank you, man. I've stored a number of useful items out there, but there's one small problem. I'm not sure of their precise location. Things get moved around. Sam is full of energy, you know? It's chaos out there. When you need one of those things, sorry, when you need one of those items on the desk, you'll just have to search for it yourself. Last point of order. Mini beard. Mini beard. Yo, mini beard's back. Give me the yo. I hear you've uh, already met. Mini beard is a tiny, uh, sim similar crumb, similar crumb. Is that how you pronounce that? Similar crumb, I guess. Similar crumb of me. I created him to help out around the house. He's quite helpful and rather good at puzzles. You know, you know. He keeps telling me, you know. I know, I know. If you're having trouble with a puzzle and you see him around, why not ask for his advice? There's a lot of wisdom stored in that tiny bearded head. Jot. Arlen has never been troubled by something quite like Humgrump's meta magic before. There may be great upheavals in big battles ahead, but I have faith in I have faith you rise to whatever challenges are thrown your way. You are the plucky squire, after all. I believe in you. Always have, lad. Now, I expect that your friends are waiting for you. If you leave the book and turn to the next page, I think you'll find them. Later, Gator. Later, Gator. All right, let's get back to our friends. There they are. Hey, friends, I'm coming back in the book. Do you see me? We've lost. Jo okay, they're talking. They're ta I'm, I'm eaves. I'm dropping some eaves. We should. Okay. But what could we've done? We're not warriors like him. Never have been. Never will be. Who will protect Mojo now that he's he's gone? I'm coming through. Hey guys. I'm back. Did you miss me? Jot! Dude! You're alright. Wait. You're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't, Thrash. Look at his face. That's his normal squidgy face. So happy to see it. Squidgy, it's a weird word to use to describe somebody's face. Jot, where were you? It's Moonbeard on his rune tooth. Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm, ta I'm talking to you via a device known as a rune tooth headset. He had to throw that in there twice, didn't he? I already remember. This is a strange magical form of communication known as a conference call. All very exciting. Now listen up, this business with Humgrump is rather worrying. We must consult with Queen Chroma in Ardia City. You three should head there now. I've got some wizard business to attend to and a donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. Violet, Thrash, I'll fill you in on the situation while you travel. Moonbeard out conference call well you heard him a trip to Ardia City my hometown oh Jot I'm so glad you're okay come on let's scoot we're gonna boot scoot and boogie I'm gonna get my sword back if I can get it out yep yep I am the hero of this story this is my sword and we are going through the pages Back through the pages. So our We're traveling. Set off to Artia City to visit the good Queen Chroma. Here we go. Cool. Chapter four: A treacherous trail. On the way to Artia, our heroes took a shortcut through the aquatic land known as the Sonnet Swamps. The Sonnet Swamps, cool. Ah, yes, art style still looking great. All right, well. We're going to end it there, guys. That was awesome.
Very cool game. Very cool game. Shout out to, uh, again, shout out to Xbox for hooking me up with a code. Plucky Squire. That's a really cool game. Very cool. Very unique. Uh, check it out if you, you know, if you like cool games, if you like unique games. I think it's really good. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, YouTube. Yeah, this is going to be up on YouTube. So, appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you in my next video, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.